As the analysis begins and the government continues to try and undermine and demonise hard-working public sector workers, we give you a brief snapshot of the event in London where 50,000 workers from 30 trade unions demonstrated determination and solidarity in standing up to corporate greed and a race to the bottom. Probably £6,000 less my pension. Uh, you know, working late, I'm going to work in some 67, and now we've got the state pension age, so I'm 67 now as well, you know. So uh, I'm, I work in a physical job, you know, and uh, most people struggle once they get to their 60, and it's not really good for us or good for the community. Many of us in the NHS do physically arduous jobs and simply won't be capable of continuing to do so until we're in our late 60s. Already, more than two-thirds of physios suffer a work-related injury during their careers, and this figure is only going to increase with an already exhausted physios and support workers working on even longer. Last week, I was crouched on the floor between a bed and a table, one leg wrapped around my stroke patient's foot to keep it on the floor, and a hand under her hip to hold her up as she tried to stand. This elaborate game of twister is pretty standard in a rehab setting. But after about 20 minutes, she looked down at me, completely unprompted, and said, and they want you to do this till you're 65. Uh, no, I had to correct her, uh, until I'm 68. Our patients, who know what it is we do, think it's insane that we'd be expected to keep going in these roles until we're 68. This government needs to wake up and realise the same. Uh, good afternoon, London. What a fantastic turnout and how proud I am to be here. They're still counting, but their record, their, the point at this time, is in excess of 50,000 people here demonstrating today. I've been on 12, I've been on 12 picket lines around London today, and the mood is fantastic, and the support is fantastic from the public. I've come from Unite's industrial conferences in Brighton, where 2,000 shop stewards from the private sector send their support and their solidarity for your cause. Millions of people, millions around the country at the moment are sending a clear message to this government. Get your sleazy hands off public sector workers. You know, sisters and brothers, it makes me angry when I think of the Tory multimillionaires, these chinless wonders, these harbingers of a greed, who have the cheek to attack public sector workers. You're the people that teach our kids, heal our sick, care for our vulnerable and our elderly, encourage our youth, clean our streets, collect our refuse. You are the people that create the very fabric of the civilised communities in which we live. How dare they attack you? They hoped, of course they hoped, that they could con the public and turn them against you. But it's backfired on them. Every time there's a poll published now in excess of 60% of the British public, Sky have just done one in excess of 70% support this dispute. 80%. 80% of Labour voters support your campaign. And that's something that some of our leaders in the Labour Party best take on board. And the reason, sisters and brothers, the reason they support you is that your values, our values of decency, fairness and equality are the core values of ordinary British working people. And that's why this type of coalition of resistance that we're building will succeed. So my message to the government is a straightforward one. Go sling your hook. Instead, instead of Instead of fighting, instead of attacking decent people, go and attack the spivs and the speculators, the corporate elite, the super rich, those that don't pay the taxes and cause this dispute and cause this crisis. I tell you this in finality. I want you to do one thing. Believe. 
believe in your values, believe in your unions, believe in working class solidarity and justice will prevail. Good luck, comrades.